Over 8,000 items are washed a day. Everything from bed sheets to patient gowns to doctor's uniforms. And at this point, all this laundry is sterile. It is, yeah. yes. Everything needs to be bacteria-free so patients don't pick up bugs whilst in hospital. All of our washers are set to 72 degrees to make sure everything is thermally disinfected. There's even a machine to dry and fold the sheets. I absolutely have to get one of these at home. <laughs> We've seen just how important and tough the work of the hospital laundry is in keeping patients clean and safe. But when it comes to us having a go at working here, Will we turn in a spotless performance? Or will it all tumble out of control? Get it? Like a tumble dryer? It's time for us to take over as laundry workers. OK, today I'm going to set you three challenges. The first is sorting, the second is folding, and the third is sewing. Sewing? Yes, Sand. The laundry team also mend damaged items and sew new ones for the hospital. Speed and efficiency are one of the things I'm going to be judging you on today. Speed and efficiency are my middle names. Your middle name's Gerald. Shh. First, Michelle shows us the importance of sorting through the laundry. Surgeon's hat. Sometimes we find mobile phones, jewellery, soft toys. Next time I'm in a hospital, I will empty my pockets a little bit more carefully. Nightgowns are folded in a very particular way. Upside down, oh, with the print okay. facing us. All right, I'm already got it wrong. Ooh, this is more complicated than I thought. Tuck one arm underneath. Just fold that over. Just make sure it looks nice. And Diane gives us a quick demonstration on how to sew a baby's blanket. It needs to have neat lines and corners. Do you have to be careful of the needle? Yes. Oh. Always keep your fingers back this side of the needle. All right, let's get on with it before I change my mind. Three, two, one, go. OK. Sorting laundry, never a strong point at home. OK, so that towel looks OK. OK, that looks good. That needs re-washing, I think. Ah, I spotted the re-wash one. I'd be very unhappy if I was sick and I got that towel. Well done, Chris. Did you see the dirt, Zand? Towel. Oh, dear. It's Mr Dirty Towel. See if he finds a mobile. Look what I found. Bet you don't, Chris. Hold the phone. OK, Smarty Bants. Well, let's see if you're any good at folding. Oh, that one's not folded right. There we go. See, this is how you do it. Very nice. My arms are getting tired holding everything up. Oh, another one the wrong way round. Right, folded, sewing next. My most dangerous challenge yet. No. I've never used a sewing machine in my life. OK, here we go. Ah. Oh, oh. Come on, Chris, let's see what you're made of. Ah. This corner hasn't quite worked out. But... Here we go. This is so difficult. Oh, nah. Michelle's not looking too impressed. Well, I think I'm about done, so I'll just cut that and have a look. Let's stretch here. Probably at least a two-centimetre stretch where the hem is pretty much the way it's meant to be. Hmm. It's time for the verdict. So how did we do on the sorting? Sand, you did miss everything except for the mobile phone. Did he find the dirty towel? He didn't. In terms of folding, Sand, you were much neater. What? If you're so good at folding, why don't you ever fold up any of your things at home? Why indeed? So it's one all at the moment, and everything hangs on how well we hemmed the blankets. Dr Chris, you were faster. However, Zand is much neater, so Dr Zand, you are the winner. Yes! Outrageous! I think what we've seen here is how important and hard working in the hospital laundry is, and how it is definitely a job that is best left to the professionals. Michelle, I think we need to give our uniforms back. <laughs> <laughs>